Hello everyone. Today's segment is going to be testers. In a residential application, usually you're only going to need three different types of testers, or you might be able to use three different types. I'm going to show you what types there are and uh, what they're used for, and sometimes the ins and outs and hang-ups with some of them. We have the, the plug tester, called a multimeter, we have a tick tracer. So right now, I'm going to start off with the plug tester. The good thing about these plug testers is that it can kind of diagnose if you have a problem. It has, uh, it's labeled as whatever corresponds with these colors, these lights. You might have an open neutral, open ground, a short, uh, could be a uh, number of things. And if you can see it there, it has directions. I don't know if you can see that, and I apologize. But what this also has is a GFI tester on here. That's what the inspectors use to see if your circuit's GFI protected. So let's say we want to add to a plug or whatever we want to do. We want to find those plugs in that GFI circuit. Well, you can't really see the lights there, but it says that's wired correctly. Hit the button. Oh, GFI tripped. So you go through. That, you know that one's off. 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 Downfall is, do we really know if there's power in these? Well, let's we'll shut off the breaker. We have these, we can reset this, turn on, and uh, we're good. Go to the panel, flip off each breaker until this goes off. Right, circuit's out, right? Now, and you can never be too sure, but the circuit's off, this says it's off. All right, let's, uh, let's pull it out and find out if we're good and we can start working on this, right? All right, so we'll just start working on this one. La-dee-da. La dee Pull it out. Oh, got zapped. What the hell happened? Well, the one thing that this tester doesn't tell you is that someone entered into a whole different circuit into there, which happens all the time. So you have to double check. And so this is, might be, this one, the tab has been clipped on this plug, this receptacle, so it's half hot. Those are the ones where you put your uh, lamp in, that switch that you never knew where it went. Check both sides of your plug. So this is half hot, you got zapped because you only use a plug tester. It's obviously on a different circuit. What else would we use to test this then after we use that plug circuit, or that plug tester, I'm sorry. Well, let me show you. Let me introduce the second tester. This is called a tick tracer. This one just checks voltage on wires just tells you what's hot, doesn't tell you anything else. But in this case, this thing could be invaluable. Take a look. Plug tester's on, it's correctly wired. Let's test that again. Okay, that's off. Everything's off, right? So we pulled this out. Turn on a tester, green, let's see. It's not hot. Ah, but that red is. So this thing is highly viable. Now, what do you do? You go over here and check this plug with this. Tap resistance, resistant plugs are a bear to get anything inside of them. So you'd have to take out the cover and see if it's hot and touch it against the terminals. But the only thing that this does is let you know if something's hot or not. And that's invaluable, like I say, with two different circuits in the same box, it'll save you from getting zapped but that's about all that it does. Next we have is the multimeter. This is probably the most reliable tester you could get. Also has some flaws if you just wanna to try to stick it inside the plugs and I'll show you what's going on. But yeah, this can uh, go low voltage, stuff like that for like uh, doorbell transformers, um, even electronics. So this is a really good one here. So this one's great, but let me show you the do's and the don'ts or the what's good and what's not. Well, with today's code, all your plugs have to be tamper resistant. Yours might not be at your house, but trying to get these leads in these plugs, they're like little windows and they open sideways. To get these in, it's like you're never gonna do it. Unless you had, you don't have tamper resistant and then you just test them 120 volt, great. But unfortunately you have to take off the plug cover and go to one terminal and the other 
to read whether you have voltage or not. And again, you just have it on the plug, right? So you have your voltage on the plug, great, 120, these work great. So now you pull out the plug, but what do you need when you pull out the plug? You need the tick tracer to know if you have any other circuits, and then you can just test everything as you go. So this is the best, but there's a little bit of work to it. Plug tester's excellent, and it helps you diagnose a little bit, but it doesn't shield you from those hidden dangers. The only testers you can ever use, or ever need rather, because the multimeter, well, high voltage, so not like you're gonna have that in your house, but uh, it takes a little bit of work, you gotta, but it's the most reliable, so to know, you know, if you have any power in anything, something like that, pull the wires out or the plugs out and you test the terminals, this will tell you. And then it'll also tell you if you don't have the correct voltage. The plug tester, on the other hand, is great to see if anything's out. Maybe if you've got a problem, this will tell you. And then you can test and see where your GFI circuit is. Inspectors always use this, they love it. The other is the tick tracer. Tick tracer is great just to see if there's voltage somewhere. The downfall of these are if you're going with wires, oh, that one's hot, okay. But if you had another wire in the same hole with this, multiple uh, wires, you might get a false reading of hot because it kind of bleeds through. The current bleeds through to the other one and this to the other uh, wire and it will read as hot, you know, when you're testing your wires themselves. But when you get to the actual outlet or what have you, it's not hot, troubleshooting nightmare. These are only used basically to keep you safe. You pull out all your wires to know if there's anything that's hot in there because you don't know exactly, you can't depend on these, you don't know exactly which wire is hot. And that's why when you pull out your wires, you're gonna need a multimeter and then you go across, uh, you could go hot to neutral, hot to ground, and it will tell you, that's why this is the most dependable. And plug testers, just to kind of get you there to know if something's hot or not. So those are the three testers and uh, those are the only testers you'll ever use or ever need. So thanks for watching. Hit subscribe, hit like, I love it. So be uh, looking forward to talking to you guys on the next one. Got a couple more videos coming up.